The American aircraft carrier USS Princeton, CV-37, launched varied aircraft to support United Nations attacks on North Korea's electrical generation capacity on 23-24 June 1952. These Navy films show the work aboard Princeton as Corsairs, Panthers, and Sky Raiders launch. Gun camera footage of various sorties includes strikes against power generation facilities at the Suiho Dam. This dam was built by Japan in 1941. Chalkboards on screen indicate the dates of the GSAP target film footage. Some is dated before the power plant strikes, and other footage is from 23 and 24 June, with a huge dam clearly visible as the aircraft make diving runs. In total, 13 hydroelectric generating targets were part of the effort. The first two days of attacks were followed by more on 26 and 27 June 1952. It was hoped these crippling strikes would accelerate North Korea into truce talks that had stalled. The massive strikes knocked out power in North Korea for two weeks, and North Korea did not restore full power generation capacity until after the war. Power supplied to parts of China was also interrupted. The June attacks did not have the effect of hastening North Korean truce talks. For much of the remainder of the Korean War, attacks on the North Korean power grid would continue. I'm Fred Johnson and you are watching the Air Rail Images channel. Thank you for subscribing.